is this the fastest beard in track and field? The man behind it is 400 metres runner Martin Rooney. 2014 was a big year for the 28-year-old, both on and off the track. He struck gold at the European Championships and got married. But the road to success hasn't been an easy one for the Englishman, and Transworld Sport was keen to find out more. Rewind 10 years, and the then 18-year-old had impressed for the British relay team at the 2005 World Championships in Helsinki. Earmarked as a future star of British athletics, the Croydon-born athlete began to train at their high-performance centre here at Loughborough University. After finishing a disappointing fourth in the 400 metres final in Glasgow, he chose to focus on the European Championships a few weeks later instead. The England team won Commonwealth Relay Gold without him, and things turned out well for Martin at the Euros. It was massive, just a relief. I kind of vindicated the decision not to do the relay. I put a big target on my back, so to cross the line against a, a talented young guy like Matt as well. It's nice to have the pair of us on the first two in the race and to run uh, a time like it was 44.71 on, on a day that it wasn't conducive to good quick running. So to come out with like, sec my second best time and he ran a PB, um, we can look back and hold our heads high. Following his gold in the individual event, Martin teamed up with Matt Hudson-Smith, Conrad Williams and Michael Bingham to claim victory in the relay. In a career littered with fourth place finishes, Rooney finally stood on the top step of the podium, not once, but twice. Martin's partner Kate, a former pole vaulter and Commonwealth medalist herself, knows better than anyone the journey that Martin has been on. For me, I think him coming back after not getting the perfect Commonwealth and coming back and winning the Europeans just showed so much determination. I mean, everyone knows he's been talented, but I think people were starting to write him off. And last year, I think he proved everyone wrong and he's, you know, he's still a big fish out there and one to contend with. So I think for me, just his European Championships was just a phenomenal achievement and hopefully he'll take that success and take it through to this year and next. All was going to plan in 2014 until last October, when it was announced that Martin's coach, Reino Ryder, had parted company with UK Athletics to lead the Dutch Federation. Ryder has coached the likes of Tiffany Porter and Christian Taylor to global medals, as well as spearheading the recent success of Britain's relay teams. With his coach based in the Netherlands, Martin's former relay teammate, Graham Hedman, puts him through his paces at Loughborough. The pair have one target in mind when Rooney returns to the Bird's Nest Stadium in Beijing this August for the World Championships. I made a decision in November, I've got to try and win it. We'll try and, work, try and win the World Championships. Um, I've really been trying to motivate myself, like being realistic and look at like, Merritt and Cryony James and there's a couple of, like, probably like four or five other guys who are all coming through and stuff and I was thinking, I can't motivate myself for a bronze medal. I have to go and look, I want to be world champion. I think he's still got his eye on the British record. I think um, that's been something he's been promising for a long time. And I think it's um, a big, a big target for him, whether it comes this year, next year, I'm not sure when it'll come, but I think that's a big target. And I think he'd also love a global medal on his own, an individual one. Obviously he's a key part of the relay team year in, year out. But I think to be he's run some of the fastest relay times and maybe to take that to the track and win a global medal. Um, yeah, any given Sunday, they say, so we'll see. In 2014, life away from the track proved to be just as eventful for Martin. He and Kate exchanged wedding vows at a lavish ceremony held at Stoke Rochford Hall near Grantham in Lincolnshire. Probably the, the highlight of my year was getting married. I know like the Europeans was great and stuff, but uh, actually winning a championship and then getting married was kind of like, how do you weigh it up, what was better? And for me, the marriage was like the best day. I had a great time. All those cliches about, oh, it was great fun, like best day of your life, whatever. You know what, I, I loved it. I had so much fun, all my family and my friends were there. We, everyone was just happy, we had a good day. So, uh, married life is good. I think uh, Alice has been uh, a nice challenge for both of us as well. 
Alice is their excitable dog, and she won't be the only challenge in 2015. The newlyweds will have even more on their plate as they're expecting their first child. There may be new additions in the Rooney household, but what about the future of that beard? She used it as a kind of distraction tactic in 2013, where I wasn't that fit, I wasn't that healthy, and I knew if I grew a beard, people would just talk about the beard. They wouldn't care about how I was running. <laughs> so uh, it served a purpose that year, and then I've, I've always quite liked it. I think uh, it's weird. Like Kate, she's not a huge fan of it. I don't think she dislikes it, but uh, I think she prefers my face. So. Um, I don't mind it at the length it's at the moment. I'm not sure I'm a big fan when it gets too much longer. Um, but hey, it's his little confidence thing. I think it's his macho, uh, <laughs> macho-ness that he can grow a beard like that. So I, I, I let it slide for now. <laughs> Whatever the future may hold for Martin Rooney, 2014 will be a year he'll never forget. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.